Hi again, everybody. It's Robert Barber from the Muller and Barber Real Estate Team here at Christie's International and Coastal Properties. And it's a beautiful sunny day here in Florida. And uh, we're continuing our buyer series. And today we're going to talk about five common first time home buyer mistakes. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly, but we're going to put this information down below so you can take some more time to study it and read it. But we're going to go through these here pretty quickly. The first one is that first time home buyers, what our experience has been after 10 years of being in real estate is that they don't ask enough questions of particularly the realtor, of the particular vendors they're dealing with, and really in particular, who's doing the lending for them. Because as a first time home buyer, there are plenty of great programs that are out there that may be able to help you get the best payment and the best plan that you could possibly get. So our recommendation is if you do nothing else in terms of asking questions is make sure you're asking your lender a lot of questions and sit down with them, not just over the phone or just on the internet, but actually sit down with someone and go through it with them. Number two, don't act quickly enough, especially in this market right now where we have a very small supply of properties. You got to be able to act quickly, especially as a first time home buyer, because we're seeing multiple bids on properties and you got to be ready to act quickly. Number three, that you don't find the right agent. And so here's a little plug for the Muller and Barber team. We've worked with plenty of first time home buyers. We know what the process is like. We know how to walk you through it. We have a lot of the right vendors in place in order to make sure that you're protected and getting the best opportunity available to you. So find the right agent that knows how to work with first time home buyers. Number four, you don't take enough time to look at your offer or make the offer appealing to the seller. As a first time home buyer, it's not only what you want, but you have to put yourself in the seller's shoes. What would be appealing to the seller to get them to accept your offer as a first time home buyer over maybe someone that may be cash? Um, we have lots of tips and tricks in our bag that we are able to help first time home buyers get sellers to put that offer at the top of the list. And number five, don't think about resale. First time home buyers aren't thinking about resale, but we always talk to all of our clients about what is your exit? What is the resale on this property? Say a year from now you get a job change or say a year from now there's a new addition to the family and you need to move up or maybe even downsize. Think about resale. Have that in your equation as you're making that decision as a first time home buyer. But those are just five things. We're going to put them down here in this email here. But if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out for the Moeller and Barber team. We're here to help you. We have over 10 years of experience working in this market. Last year alone, we had 25 million in sales. But uh, we have plenty of experience with first time home buyers and we look forward to working for you. We'll talk to you soon. Uh -huh.